Good morning. Woo! Feel the breeze. I said feel the breeze. It's cooling down. It's feeling amazing. Got to make one slight adjustment to some air pressures here before we get back to ripping the camber. If I said that I really am liking this thing, man, it has completely rejuvenated my love of mountain biking. Not that I didn't really love it before, but it's added to it, I would say. Rides really, really well, climbs incredibly. God, it's so much fun. And fast tires are really contributing to the fact. Side note, new ground control. I know I talked about it when we were up in Downeyville, but the new ground control is amazing. It's ripping. Wind in the trees. Oh, yes. Just a slight reprieve from the smoke and the heat. I'll take it. I don't think he can see me. He's sitting right there. He's watching me. sound deers make I don't even know so there's a new section of trail where I usually ride here on the Strava as you probably have picked up on it uh, I've been riding it a lot lately in the last week because I want to help kind of break it in a little bit it's rather freshly cut uh, there's actually two sections of trail however one well really both of them are kind of in the same but one in particular they're bench cut slightly off camber and the lower half of the trail, the downhill side of the trail, uh, is real duffy. It's like almost not even there. So if you have a foot wide trail, you really got like nine inches. It is one of those where you really have to watch where you put that front tire. <laughs> you wanna go quick, you gotta be precise. Cause holy crap, if you don't, that thing's gonna give way so fast. It's good, more trails, I like it. Those who build them, thank you. Take two. We've been running errands like mad today, getting stuff done. We went to the hardware store and got this fancy little bag of bolts that this is gonna complete. The project that we've been working on for a little while and we are this close to showing you, I am so fired up. Just give me maybe, maybe one more day. It, trust me, you're gonna dig it. It's real cool. It's hanging up back there, but you can't see it. It's there, right there. You can't see it. it. Has to do with flat mount brakes, and the bolts that were sent were too short because there's so many different chain stay thicknesses. A flaw in the flat mount system: different bolt lengths. Uh, don't take that as a knock against any manufacturer. It's the system. Just stick with post mount, we would have been better off. Easy to adjust. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things that are way better about post mount brakes over flat mount brakes. So as you may or may not have seen, uh, have been absolutely loving the camera here. Getting super fired up on it and Yes, I know we're, we're a little bit behind the ball, I know, on this one for, uh, for its launch party, but uh, we just got the Shockwiz in for renting at Kinetic. So, if you've got yourself a little fancy, fancy bicycle you want to put the Shockwiz on and learn a little bit about if your tuning is correct, get the sampling. Um, but I figured you should probably learn how it works first and then, uh, go from there. So,
Strava has been killing it. By the way, if you don't follow me on Strava, you need to follow me on Strava and uh, to see all the Kaylins I'm smashing. Really, really am glad I went from the stumpy to this. I'm gonna say that. Super fired up on this Mac Daddy. Uh, made quick notes. Uh, 120, right there. That's what I'm running in the fork. We'll see how, see if it improves or doesn't improve. And we're back in the garage too, another garage session coming at you soon. So uh, expect a full review of this in the next few days. It's not cross-related, but it 